Okay, so I've got the camera on F8.0 auto ICO frame rate 25 shutter rate 1-50 uh, it's on the uh, gimbal and I've also got the uh, wind muffs on so I don't and it is windy so I don't know if that's making any difference hello folks and welcome to four season backpacking please subscribe for the latest this outdoor the, adventure uh, videos I'll be using in the clips you're about to see um, it's a free access gimbal I'm just going to switch it on for you so just switching it on now this isn't a review it's just like a more of a test um, so that goes down like that I don't know what's wrong with it there it does that sometimes okay switch it off a minute it's all leveled out it's definitely on the it's on the right way around right pretty sure it's on the right way around yeah okay so switch it on again yeah that's cool yeah. done it again oh I got the lock on you've got to remember to switch the lock off so I think the lock is off now yeah, the lock is off now, so start again. Yeah. So. So yeah, I'm really happy. I'm happy with it. Without digital stabilization on the camera though, it's a little bit shaky on 25 frames per second. Uh, shutter speed 150 um, it seemed a little bit shaky I, um, has anyone got any advice for me what um, settings to put the camera on to make uh, it more smoother without using digital sta stabilization uh, but I find when I put digital stabilization on the low it's good enough with the gimbal it's, it looks really smooth and low light shooting is way better than the GoPro 8 um, it's way better than the GoPro 8 for filming in low light with this this uh, Canon G5X Mark II and this uh, gimbal. Much smoother, like it, it's way smooth, it's just like filming in the day. Uh, whereas the GoPro I think I'll be using, I'll still be using the GoPro 8 for filming in a day because it's just really handy. You know, I just pull it out of my pocket and film and the stabilisation on it's really good in the day. But as soon as it gets a little bit dark, even this little bit dark, sometimes it struggles to keep it nice and smooth it looks a little bit blur it goes all blurry and shaky the stabilization digital stabilization but this is why i've got the gimbal with this camera now this camera the video quality is much better than the um gopro 8 as well so um yeah look just look at that so i'll put a link in the description for this i will be keeping it um this isn't a review because i've only used it a few times but the results i have had um i am happy with um actually i'm more than happy with thinking about it so yeah um well take a look at these clips okay so this is digital stabilization turned off in uh woodland in this all the same modes as before so what's that coming out like with no digital stabilization Okay, this is walking through the woods with digital stabilisation on low and all the same settings as before on the camera and on the gimbal. I'm walking through slippy mud, so I'm not able to keep the gimbal as still as I'd like to. I don't know what that's coming out like. Oh, it's quite slippy. So I've got the digital stabilisation on Digital stabilisation on standard now. I'm holding the gimbal in a slightly better way maybe. See if that makes a difference. Her hands are really cold by the way. It's a really cold day bordering on. Oh, I'm surprised, it's, I'm surprised my hands feel cold because the ground is really wet and it's not iced up. So 
surprised at that. I was wondering how this is coming out on standard. Oh, there goes the dog. But it's this way. Gimbal in PF mode again, and I've got the digital stabilization on high. So how is that coming out? Yeah, it's on the highest it'll go. I'm not sure if I'm keen on it on the highest certain. Um, not when I'm doing it without the gimbal anyway. It looks pretty terrible, to be honest. It looks better in medium stabilization without the gimbal. So I don't know what it's coming out like with the gimbal. All right, I'm gonna have to try and get out of this mud. Okay guys, now this is with no digital stabilization at all and just with the gimbal, use of the gimbal. I, ha I believe I have the um, gimbal motors on high. I will check that in a moment. Um, I'm holding the camera as steady as I can at the moment. Uh, the, the ground's not too slippy, it's quite smooth, so I'm hoping that's coming out okay. I, I, I believe there will probably be some shaking in it. Um, I think it is a, it does come out much better, I've found so far, with the, uh, the digital stabilization on low, I think. I think that's the setting I like and medium digital standard digital stabilization on the Canon G5 Mark II um, at the most. I think um, the high digital stabilization, it, it doesn't look good. There's something about it I don't like. It's, it's not very good, I don't think. But uh, yeah, I think I'm either on low digital stabilization or medium, um, I will be using with this gimbal. And that will look fantastic in low light as well. Okay folks, I have the shutter on 1-50, 25 frames per second, 4K, F11, uh, ICO 125, on the gimbal, stabilization on low. So how is that coming out guys? So it's obviously in manual settings as well. I'm not gonna in automatic settings. I have the gimbal in PF mode. Okay, so all the same settings as before, but now we'll have the gimbal, uh, sorry, the um, camera in standard stabilization mode. Uh, obviously the digital stabilization on the camera as well as using the, the gimbal. How's that coming out like guys? And I've got the wind muffs on the camera as well, but there's pretty much no wind today. Okay, the sky is a bit nondescript at the moment, so not sure how that's coming out on the big screen. I have the digital stabilization on high and I've just put the ND filter on and moved the uh, camera to F5.0, but everything else is the same. How's that coming out? <laughs> it's a bit awkward uh, testing these things out with the dog because the dog's sniffing out all the wildlife it can like uh, at the moment. There's so much about um, and my dog's very hyper and I have to keep an eye on him while doing all this at the same time so it's really awkward to set up the gimbal with a hyperactive dog and um, a tripod while keeping an eye on him at the same time. <laughs> okay folks, so I've got on POV on the uh, gimbal. Um, I have the camera on 150 shutter speed. I have F1.1, I have ICO at 125. Uh, 25 frames per second, 4K, and I have it on digital stabilization. Well, I'm really so far impressed with the gimbal. Um, with this uh, camera, it's just what I wanted, really. Um, I'm like, but yeah, it already it looks better, way better than digital stabilization to me, anyway. Um, and I can choose my shutter rate, which to me is important. I wanted like a shutter rate of like 150 for my 25 per frames per second rate. Links for where you can buy the items in the description, folks. Take care.